Come and create your history here at the Plaz. Plaz Tourist Information. Our connection to Port Merion and Plaz Brondanu. We have a long social history which is intertwined through ties with past residents and lineage to world famous Port Merion and the home of the late great Port Merion founder, Welsh architect Sir Clough Williams Ellis, Plas Brondanu. Our home, Plas Tanarat, was owned or leased out by the Graves family over the course of 150 years from 1835 to 1985 and records show that John Whitehead Graves, the founder of what is now known as the Lequa Slate Quarry, was the first member of the family to rent the house, where it remained firmly within the family up until 1921, and was then finally purchased by John Ernest Graves and sold in 1985 by Mrs. Jean N. Livingston Learmonth, who was the great-great-granddaughter of John Whitehead Graves. As we know, Mary Hilda Graves, our very own Miss Hilda, whom we have a bedroom named after, was born here at the house in October 1855, where she lived for a long period of her life. The aunt of Port Merion founder, Clough Williams Ellis, she had a mural designed by Sir Clough, a regular visitor to the house, celebrating the triumph of Neptune in what is now our dining room and is behind plasterboard for its own protection. Her sister, Ellen Mabel, mother of Sir Clough, also lived here at the Plaz. And according to an article published in the January 1931 edition of Country Life magazine, found a rusty old pistol whilst gardening. Was this the very pistol that was used in the supposed assassination attempt to shoot Shelley back in February 1813? The Italianate village of Port Merion is just a stone's throw away from the house, a short ten minute drive, and a lot of our guests visit all year round. Clough Williams Ellis purchased the site back in 1925 and work continued over the course of nearly 50 years, up until 1973. The last building, the toll gate, was built in Clough's 93rd year. His motto was, cherish the past, adorn the present, construct for the future. In Port Merion, he hoped to prove that developing a naturally beautiful site need not result in its ruin. Port Merion now receives around 200,000 visitors each year who are drawn to its quirky character and beautiful surroundings. Plas Brondanu, just 15 minutes from us, was given to Sir Clough by his father in 1902 and the gardens are the finest example of his talent for creative landscape design. The main features date from the early part of the 20th century, before he began Port Marion, but work continued on and off until the 1960s. He created a unique and characteristic garden landscape, which provides a series of dramatic and romantic prospects set within the Areri Snowdonia National Park between Yewudfa, Snowdon and the sea. Inspired by the gardens of Renaissance Italy, strong architectural influences are evident within the Plas Gardens, stone walls, topiary and avenues of trees, leading the eye to the dramatic backdrop of the mountains beyond. Port Merion is perhaps Clough's most famous creation, but it is the garden of Plas Brondanu, his home for more than 70 years, which is undoubtedly his most beautiful. I do hope that our connection and history has given you the inspiration to visit both places, to check opening times, admission costs, and for further information, here with some contact details.
Come and create your history here at the Plaza.